the magnitude of the gravitational force between two objects, and it looks like this, where F is equal to the constant of universal gravitation, G, times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object divided by the distance between them squared. This constant, like any other constant, simply exists so that a natural phenomenon like gravity can be expressed in our own arbitrary man-made units, and it is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meters squared over kilograms squared. These are the units that will cancel out the units on the masses and radius, so as to give a value for force in newtons. This value was not known to Newton at the time, but was determined experimentally about a hundred years later by Henry Cavendish. When discussing the radius between two objects, we will take the distance between their centers rather than their surfaces, as Newton showed that the gravitational force exerted by an object depends only on its mass and not on its volume, meaning that when discussing gravity, we can treat everything as a point-like mass.